Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what clothes I wear during the winter when I go into the woods. Um, the clothes that I tend to wear are designed for a New England uh, winter. Weather that we get here tends to be more of a wet snow. We just had a blizzard go through in our Easter. It was more of a powdery snow, but it tends to get pretty wet here even with that. So you kind of have to take it as you will. But let's start from the inside. What do I tend to wear as my underlayer? Well, my favorite underlayer, especially for um, my legs, is actually, I've shown this in previous videos, I wear a merino uh, wool L.L. Bean uh, medium weight legging, pretty much. Uh, this thing keeps me warm. Um, I love actually bringing this out in the summer for at night if it gets cold. I tend to bring this with me. Um, and I'll wear it as kind of like a PJ because it, it, it keeps me relatively warm. Uh, and it is soft. Most people don't like wool because sometimes it can be scratchy. As far as wool goes, it's very, very smooth. Uh, but I am actually used to scratchy wool, um, as you will start to see as this goes. Uh, for my top layer, I don't. I actually have a polyester top layer. Um, same weight, uh, same brand, uh, but for the uh, top layer, I wear a polyester one just because it's cheaper. Um, the problem with polyester over merino wool, polyester picks up your body smells. Wool doesn't. So after a day, this smells horrific. This smells fine. Um, so if you're looking for underlayers, think of, take that in mind when you are picking your materials. Is If you're going to wear these for multiple days, will may be a better choice. So for socks during the winter, wool is the best way to go. Cotton, I've worn cotton on winter hikes. And I've almost frozen my toes off. Um, if there's no snow, you can probably get away with it. But if there is snow, wear wool. Um, they don't have to be thick ones like these. I have some thinner ones too. These were just the only ones I had clean at the moment to show you guys. Um, but these are a thicker wool one that I have. Um, these are a 100% wool sock. I tend to wear either a 100 to or um, I think generally 80% wool when it comes to my socks. Um, I prefer merino, but I'll go ragged. I'll do pretty much any type of wool I can get my hands on. Uh, you can find some pretty good deals at most chain camping stores. Uh, check them out, check the camping sections. Sometimes you can get some pretty good deals. Another good place if you're ever looking for socks, um, go to the Army Surplus stores. I've actually gotten some decent uh, merino wool socks there, dirt cheap, um, that, I mean, they stretched over time, but I bought them for like, I think, like five bucks a piece or like two bucks a piece. I can't remember, but I remember they were super, super cheap. So the local Army Navy store, check them out for wool socks if you're looking for wool socks on the cheap. Now for my pants. I am eventually going to be upgrading my winter pants. I just haven't done it yet. I plan on moving to, uh, I think they're called the Yellow Beans Ranger pants or something like that. I can't r fully remember the name of them, but they're a wool pant, and I do want to move up to wool pants for the winter. Currently, I still use the same pants I use in the summer. Um, I just put layers underneath them, which is a nylon hiking pants by, I can't remember the brand uh, that this is, it is by, let's see if it's on here, um, by White Sierra, 
Um, so I believe it's uh, by C I think I got it because I got it from the Sierra Trading Post. Um, it's a cheap, bought it relatively cheap. It's a, just a cheap. It was a green nylon pants with the with the merino underlayer. These do the trick. They keep the wind off me and I remain relatively warm. They dry pretty quickly. It's just, you know, if Ember said it, it, you get a burn hole through it, and that sucks. But they get the job done. They dry quickly. I just want to get wool pants in the future because I've had a lot of good luck with wool. I really do. I've, I wear a lot of wool even in my personal life. <clears throat> I do still, I kind of mix a lot of materials. I wear nylon, I wear cotton. Um, I wear wool, depends on the season, depends on the day, depends on what's going on. I'm very, uh, with my materials, I'm very, the right material for the right time. Um, so for my top layers, I tend to, over my, over my underlayer, I tend to wear what I like to call a comfort layer, or it's or sometimes also call, I also sometimes call it a social layer, if you will, um, which is just a t-shirt. <laughs> I'll wear it over my undershirt just so it's not like I'm walking around in my uh, PJs and kind of adds a little extra layer. Sometimes it tends to be just a cotton shirt like this. Um, it tends to be something like a graphic tee from a channel that I like or one of my regular shirts. It's just something to, to look good. And sometimes I'll, I'll wear that over my... Uh, my underlayer, and I'll actually just be walking around in those in the winter. And if it's like 30 degrees and I've been doing a lot of work, I've been known to just do that. Um, but that's sometimes my top layer. But those aren't my only top layers. So for my other top layers, one of my other favorite sweaters is a ragged wool sweater from LL Bean. I do really like this one. You've probably seen this in a lot of my winter, my cold weather videos or videos that are shot in the winter. I wear this all the time. Keep it warm. It, I actually, I do, <laughs> the worst part is I actually do have a boreal, uh, I've been meaning to take out a, bo I do have a boreal shirt, a boreal uh, wool shirt or a sweater, whatever that is. I keep forgetting the name of it. I haven't pulled it out yet because I've been too obsessed with this. Um, some people may call that blasphemy. I've just, I've, I bought it. Um, I traded for it with a friend um, and I just, I hadn't, because I, I saw one of my friends was trading it and I went, okay, cool, I'll trade with it. I'll trade for it. and. I just end up sticking with it. I'm gonna be using it. I'll probably use it. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna try and use it this this summer. I tend to. I like to kind of hold on to some of my gear because I like using. I like having spare equipment, um, especially for like if a friend needs equipment when we go on a trip. I like having a couple bits, of, a couple backups. So if something happens to this, I still have a warm piece of kit. So it's not that it's just sitting there collecting dust. It's gonna end up getting used. Um, so that's not my only bit of outer layer I have. So I also use, and I tend to wear this a lot, more L.L. Bean. Uh, one of my old jobs I used to work at, um, I used to be right down the street from them, and I actually like their products. I also like their guarantee that they have, their quality guarantee, where if something falls apart, I can get it replaced. It's one of the other reasons why I like shopping with them. Um, it's a little pricey, but I'm one of those hip people that I like quality. They're not the only place I shop, trust me. I don't have a lot of their gear, just a lot of my clothes are from them. Is a, you've again probably seen this in a lot of videos. It's my green jacket. This is a wool jacket I bought it last year when I was, uh, I was between jobs actually at the time and I got it on clearance. Um, I found it on clearance, it's actually like half off. So you know, I saw it, it was like a $150 jacket and I found it for like 70 bucks. Um, this thing is warm. I wear it between, I wear it above my layers. I, I was walking around today in like nine degree weather shoveling 
after a nor'easter we had over the ragged wool sweater and I was warm. Um, I tend to wear it as like during the fall as my weekend jacket. I don't wear it. I've, I've kind of stopped wearing it to work because sometimes it, if I take it camping or something, it starts to smell like smoke. And when you work in an office building like I do, I don't always like going into my work smelling like smoke. So I've started kind of having a divide of work clothes versus uh, woods clothes. But this jacket, I really do like. Um, it's It looks nice, it's warm, it feels good. It's a little scratchy, so you kind of have to be used to the scratchiness of wool, but it's definitely a really comfy jacket and I wear it all the time. Um, so for gloves, I tend to wear, so it's a thin slit, it's brand is thin slit. Um, I wear the glittens as some people call them. It's the glove mittens. I like these uh, when I am camping uh, and when I'm outside because I can, I get the dexterity, but then when I'm not doing anything, I can just quickly slip it over and I have the mitten. I use them a lot. Um, they're just, they're good for my daily life and they're also good when I go hiking. Uh, I don't really have much else for gloves because um, I find these are nice and these are also wool on the outside. On the inside they're kind of more of a cotton, they're more of a cotton material, but nevertheless these are good. Uh, for, I ha do have a shell that, again, you've probably seen in a lot of my previous videos. Um, this one by Lee Truspec makes it. This one was a gift, but Truspec makes it. Um, it's a anorak shell that I tend to wear. It's a, uh, it's a shell that I tend to wear a lot. It's, I believe it's, it's not, it's, Another piece of nylon equipment, um, but I I tend to wear it when it's a, when it's blizzarding out, and that thing has kept me dry. I wear it during downpours. I wear it and during any type of precipitation. That thing keeps me dry. Um, there was actually one time when I was shoveling with my father, um, and he was using the snowblower, and the test was actually pretty. One of the true tests of it was I was shoveling and he was heading my way with a snowblower and all of a sudden I just felt a, felt a wall of snow just <clears throat> hit the back of me and I got basically pummeled with all the might of the small snowblower he was using and I was dry where the anorak was because I was wearing that jacket. Now. That, having a jacket like that is really useful. I would put a link to where to buy that. I haven't found one online. You could probably look on eBay for it. But a jacket like that is really useful. Now, last but definitely not least is shoes. What type of shoes do I use? Now, I'm just going to dry these off a little bit because I was just using them. But I, care, I wear snow sneakers. Um... I was skeptic as buying these at first because I needed, um, at, I needed boots that weren't super expensive but comfortable and waterproof. And most of the boots that I was looking for at the time were either didn't meet my required criteria, too expensive, or were uncomfortable. These ones were comfy. They met my criteria, and I think I bought them for about a hundred bucks. And they're they're LL Bean. They're snow sneakers. Um, I actually, they're insulated. I've been wearing these for two years and I wear them year round. These have become my main hiking shoes. Um, they, you, they, I've walked through streams with them. I've worn them all the time. They serve me great when I've done snowshoeing, which I would show you the snowshoes that I've I'd be using this year, but I, they're in this room, but I'm not going to bring them on camera because I haven't used them yet. 
Uh, I'm planning on hopefully getting out maybe next few weeks and maybe trying to do some snowshoeing if the snow that just fell, if we get a little bit more, if I can actually get out and do a bit of snowshoeing because that'd be fun if the snow sticks, sticks around. I'd love to get back out and do some snowshoeing. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically the clothes I wear. Um, for hats, it depends on if there's wind. Sometimes, like some today, I was wearing this hat. Just my favorite driver's cap that I wear all the time. Other times, I wear this knit cap a lot. Um, it's 100% wool, and a friend, I had commissioned a friend to make it for me. Um, but otherwise, that's really all I, that's what I wear in the winter. It keeps me warm. The other part of my winter clothes is I, come building up to winter, on my regular days, I tend to not wear that much. I train my body so I don't have to wear a lot so I can handle the cold during the winter. Um, but anyways, my name's Nate. I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. Uh, this has been me talking about what type of clothes I wear in the winter uh, when I go out in the woods. You have a good day, remember? Have a good day. Have a good day in the woods. Have some fun. See everyone.